welcome friends and family of Allison Callista Gaines and John Homer Jenkins. They have invited us here today to share in the celebration of their marriage. We are honored to take part in this occasion, and Homer and Allison appreciate the efforts you have all made to be here. <laughs> It's a star destroyer. I'm, I'm willing to wait for the Harleys if you are. <laughs> we come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to recognize a bond that already exists. This marriage is one expression of the many varieties of love. Love is one, though its expressions are infinite. Love is the force that binds the galaxy together. Allison and Homer, you have come here today from your varied life experiences to make public the commitment you have made each to the other. You come to combine your two separate lives into one. Do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> Although you will be sharing one life, never forget you are two separate people. Cherish and affirm your differences. Love each other. Keep your commitment primary. Together, you will laugh and cry, be sick, be well, share, and grow. You will grow sometimes together, sometimes separately, but never remain stagnant. Love and life are always changing, always new. Now Homer's sister Rachel will read for us from a work of Madeline Langell. Ultimately, there comes a moment when a decision must be made. Ultimately, two people who love each other must ask themselves how much they hope for as their love grows and deepens, and how much, much risk they're willing to take. It is indeed a fearful gamble. And because it is the nature of love to create, a marriage itself is something which has to be created so that together we become a new creature. To marry is the biggest risk in human relations that a person can take. If we commit ourselves to one person for life, this is not, as many people think, a rejection of freedom. Rather, it demands the courage to move into all the risks of freedom and the risk of love, which is permanent, into that love which is not possession, but participation. It takes a lifetime to learn another person. When love is not possession, but participation, then it is part of that co-creation, which is our human calling, and which implies such risk that it is often rejected. Homer and Allison, no minister or priest or rabbi or public official can marry you, only you can marry yourselves by your commitment to each other to work towards creating an atmosphere of care and consideration and respect, and by your willingness to face together the tensions and anxieties that underlie human life, you will create the bonds of your marriage. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety, as lover, companion, and friend. I will ask you now, in the presence of these witnesses, to affirm your intention to be married. Homer, do you come before this gathering of friends and family to proclaim your love and devotion for Allison? Do you promise to affirm her, respect her, and care for her? during times of joy and of hardship? Do you commit to share your feelings with her, 
remain faithful to her and protect her from the dark side of the force. <laughs> I do. Allison, do you come before this gathering of friends and family to proclaim your love and devotion for Homer? Do you promise to affirm him, respect him, and care for him during times of joy and hardship? Do you commit to share your feelings with him, remain faithful to him, and protect him from the dark side of the force? I do. This is a moment of celebration. Let it also be a moment of dedication. Every marriage needs the love, nurture, and support of a network of friends and family. On this wedding day, I ask all of you here, not only to be friends of Allison or of Homer, but friends to Homer and Allison together, friends of their relationship. In the moment of silence that follows, I ask each of you, in your own way, to confer a silent prayer or blessing or wish or hope upon this marriage. This is when we usually get 15 holidays. We celebrate here today the outward signs of a sacred and inward commitment to be married, which religious societies may consecrate and states may legalize, but which neither can create nor annul. This union is created by loving purpose, maintained by abiding will, and renewed by human feelings and intentions. Into this state of marriage, these two persons come now to be united. The hand which you offer each to the other is an extension of yourselves, just as is the warmth and love which you express for each other. Cherish the touch, for you are touching another life be sensitive to its pulse, and try to understand and respect its flow and rhythm, just as you do your own. Will you now join hands and exchange your vows? I commit my life to our partnership in marriage. I promise to comfort you, to encourage you in all walks of life. I promise to express my thoughts and emotions to you and listen to you in times of joy and sorrow. Homer, you are my closest friend. I love you. I do. <laughs> Homer? I commit my life to you, to a partnership in marriage. I promise to comfort you, to encourage you in all walks of life. In all walks of life. I promise to express my thoughts and emotions to you, and to listen to you in times of joy and sorrow. Allison, you are my closest friend. I love you. From the earliest times, the circle has been a symbol of completeness, a symbol of committed love. An unbroken and never-ending circle symbolizes a commitment of love that is also never-ending. As often as either of you look at this symbol, May you be reminded of the commitment to love each other, which you make here today. Homer, as you put your ring on Allison's finger, repeat after me. I, Homer, give to you, Allison, this ring. I, Homer, give to you, Allison, this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. Allison, as you put your ring on, out, on Homer's finger, I, Allison, give to you, Homer, this ring. I, Allison, give to you, Homer, this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. To love, honor, and respect you. To love, honor, and respect you. 
We can keep on holding hands for a while now. May these two people, now married, keep this covenant which they have made. May they encourage each other in whatever they set out to achieve. May they, trusting each other, trust life and not be afraid. And may they not only accept and give affection between themselves, but also together have affection and consideration for others. Allison and Homer, we wish for you a love that makes both of you better people, that continues to give you joy and zest for living, and that provides you with energy to face the responsibilities of life. May the spirit of love be ever a part of your lives so that the union we celebrate here this day may be worthy of continued celebration tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for you, each of you will be warmth to the other. Now you will feel no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. May your days be good and long upon the earth. In the name of all those gathered here and of all those not here who care about these two people, I declare that Homer and Allison are husband and wife. May all others honor their commitment and the threshold of their house. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you always. <laughs> and happy marriage and I'm a little blown away right now. This is the best wedding I've ever been to and I wish you guys Same. the absolute best life you could possibly have. I wish you both a very happy, wonderful, awesome, nerdy Star Wars relationship. And if you have kids, I would be happy to babysit. And may the force be with you.